Hey YouTube, Herbal Prepper here, and today I wanted to quickly go over the uses uh, medicinally and a couple survival uses of the magnolia tree. Now obviously you can use the wood of the tree for many different things, anything that you would use other woods for. Um, but the flowers are very good for rashes. Um, you can use them for medicines uh, or even perfume. Uh, the medicinal parts of the tree are the flowers, the bark, and the buds of the flowers. Now in Chinese medicine they often used the uh, tree in combination with other things that would help with anxiety or depression or um, nervousness or sleep or th anything like that. So guys, that's really about it. But as far as the survival uses, now you see that they naturally have a curve to them. Now you can use this for um, uh, like a spoon. Um, you can use this for threading together because some of them are large. You can thread them together and actually transport things. So you would make a purse or a pouch. And then when you go foraging for berries, you have to excuse, excuse me, there's a car coming. But then when you go foraging for berries or whatever, you would thread a whole bunch of these together to make a pouch and it'll naturally curve underneath the bottom. And then you can, you know, put whatever you need or collect in it. Um, and then sometimes you can actually use these if you find a whole bunch that are very similar in size and shape. You can use them to uh, push the water away. So almost like rainproofing your shelter. Um, really guys, that's about it. But I wanted to quickly go over it because it is a beautiful tree and it's very useful. So until next time.